welcome to our linux classes so friends let's continue we were discussing about the yum so what are packages in linux in red hat linux or fedora and all other red hat based distributions they uses rpm as a main software installation package tool rpm stands for a red hat package manager a linux software package is nothing but a compressed archive of files which consist of you know product information program files icons and different libraries which enables the functioning of that software packages we all know that you know a package in linux that comes in the format of dot rpm so that package which is you know it is a compressed archive of files and which is consisting of you know product information program files icons and libraries RPM is the default package installation tool used in Red Hat Linux and RPM that is stand for the Red Hat package manager so this is the package is in Linux let's continue so if RPM is already there then why yum is used so friends we already understand this in the last lecture let's continue so friends what happen you know we know that we have the RPM command and we can use that command for the installation of any rpm package but you know while installing a package with rpm command what happen as a system admin you have to you know resolve the dependencies of a package i have a package a and i was trying to install that package but i was getting dependency errors like you know it got failed you are trying to install a package but it was keep on failing the reason was that the package a is dependent on for the four or five you know packages so as a system admin you have to first download those dependent dependent package and you have to install those package and maybe while you know installing those dependent package those package are further dependent on further packages so it's become a you know tedious job to install a package so friends rpm and yum are completely two different things rpm is a package manager tool which installs the package and yum is a repository management tool which will fetch the appropriate package for your particular version of linux so friends with the help of yum you know you can you know create a repository and in the repository you have the you know lot of packages are there you know in thousands of the package are already there and also you know you will create a database so you know yum can resolve the dependencies by their own so this is the benefit of yum repositories is an organized collection of packages that yum uses yum can use these repositories to fetch the correct and exact version of a particular package compatible for your system previously before yum you know you have to you know use the yum command and you have to resolve the dependencies and that time you know we are getting a lot of you know problems and a lot of issues while you know resolving the dependencies so to overcome all those things yum comes into the picture and yum will contain the urls uniform resource locator of different repositories in its configuration file and you can in fact update all the install application on your systems with the help of single yum command so we'll understand this while we will be doing a lab session how to configure a you know yum servers so previous version when we have the rhl 7 installing package is was a tedious job sometimes it's a headache to install all the dependencies so red hat come with a solution to overcome this dependency problem in most of the situation the solution for this is nothing but yum implementation and this will resolve this dependency issues and other known issues here we are going to you know present some basic way to how to use yum utility to install the package locally so friends you know this is you know a basic idea about yum how to you know understand yum server why the yum servers comes into the picture although we have already yum so hope you have got an idea of yum and in the next lecture we'll understand more about yum and we'll configure and install yum server as well so friends thanks for watching if you have time please join with me in the next session